Yo, what is up? KWD back once again and bringing you guys Undead on Luck episode four. Last time we left off with Gina and her with her barrier ability, Sue Storm coming out here to fuck these niggas up. But this is the person that we are supposed to defeat. Um, shit, I'm hard pressed to know how they're going to defeat her at the end of the day because, you know, being able to create barriers and stuff. And the fact that none of them, I mean, well, Andy, he's <laughs> like, it, it just seems like his power wouldn't really mean anything to her. Like, as I said, like, she's kind of like a natural counter to him because she can just, you know, cut his body, put it in a barrier, done deal. So we have to see if like the unluckiness comes into this effect here. I was thinking before when he was talking about how to use um, the unlucky power that essentially Fuko has but to like be able to kind of direct it I was thinking more of like when he cut his arm off they cut his hand off and shot it at the um at the you know the jet I was thinking that she was going to touch his hand he shoots it off and then that becomes unlucky and touches somebody else but I'm not too sure uh we're gonna see where how this is gonna essentially come out from this point on but either way let's get into it so let's go ジーナ様が不死不運両名と接触戦闘に入るそうですああまあ彼らは面白いしきっと乗り越えてくれるよねあなたが50年前にアンディを捕まえてずっと管理してたよでも私と同じ<笑> <笑>でかアンチエイジングテック。私永遠の16歳なんですけど、変なこと言わないでくれる。Oh <笑> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, she's pretty thick. <laughs> I like she pretty thick. She got some thick ass thighs and she's probably got a ass. She got a dump truck right there. I mean, he's a pretty relaxed guy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, so that's the reason you all here fell in love? God, they have a lot of containment units there. I mean, they did say it was like one, uh, 1849 or something. That's not gonna work, bro. She got this damn barrier. I mean, fuck monologues. This is what you have to do. They let these niggas talk all day. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, that internal beat. <laughs> what is she doing? It's like every time he breaks concentration, she's knocking him upside the head. <laughs> That was nice. He cut off his own leg <laughs> in order to jet away. I'm not gonna lie, it is refreshing to have a series and not have people just explain their abilities 24 <laughs> 7. Like, he's gonna figure it out from that. Can he just cut off half of his body though? And get away? <laughs> that pissed her off. No, yeah, she got some cheeks back there. They're even showing it. <laughs> Huh? Huh? 
Oh, oh is he gonna use it to see where exactly your barrier's at? So she negates variations in form, so she just fixes the air in place. <laughs> She's not even doing anything. Yeah, it makes sense of why she looks young also. <laughs> or why she keeps herself like that. And then those who use it on everything around them. Yeah, exactly. He already said it's makeup. <laughs> he said her ass is fucking sagging. I mean, that is 66 year old booty. It makes sense. You know what she reminds me of? Uh, what's the name from Elf and Lead? God damn, he is moving. <laughs> Shit. Struck her view. Underneath. Look, it's at her feet. You know what's funny? They did what I said they were gonna do. God. Damn. Matana. I mean, she is 66, like, <laughs> like... <笑>変わりたかったの。え?ナスがまま入って、ナスがまま働いた。たくさん捉えて殺した。人も獣も何も変わらなかった。きっといつかまたルールが増えて、世界は大きく変わってしまう。more rules and make a huge change. Yay, we're kissing then. I mean, this thing is hundreds of years old. Like, <laughs> does it really matter at the end of the day? He, he keeps going through this like he's a dickhead, but he's a swell guy. <laughs> it's like he keeps going through all these fucking phases. You love the change in me. All right, so I gotta admit to some extent that uh, I felt a little bit lost in this. Um, just because there was just like so much happening and everything. And they tend to talk like fucking super fast <laughs> while everything is happening. So I felt a little bit lost. But if you really just think about her power in a sense, it's kind of like, let's say Green Lantern, if you will. Like she makes constructs. That's kind of like what it is. Because of the fact that she can basically make uh, air unchanged at that point. It's just stationary. Uh and harding in it i guess you could say or creating a barrier by it then she can manipulate it it gives me a lot of elf and lead vibes with the multiple hands and everything killing people and, and stuff like that um but the way that they defeat her is literally how i said they're probably going to defeat her like or because i was i was saying in the beginning of this video of course where i was saying like um you know, in the previous episode, they were talking about using her unlucky ability and 
when he cut off his hand and shot it at the jet, I was thinking that, you know, basically you touch, you know, you touch him and then he just throws his hand at them and it does all the unlucky shit over there. But in this case, it's like since it's central to his character, you just throw his head at him at her and then it just does the same thing that I was talking about before. So they defeat her in a way that I was thinking of. I was completely wrong about how her ability essentially functions with her the reason why she was like walking instead of running and everything like that. I was thinking like maybe she has to stay fixed to the ground, be unchanged, if you will. Uh it's kind of funny how that runs into the reason like why she's having this whole anti-aging and everything going with it at the same time with her like ability being unchanged her trying to be unchanged but at the same time she wants to change them talking about the world gaining more rules i'm not, not too sure what that means um but that there's going to be some great change now i did make a theory which you know someone pointed out that i was close of of that they go through these like they, they're, they're kind of like in a time loop and they do it over and over again particularly because of the hourglass that was there and then in this case it seems like she might have already been through one before the way that she was talking about like rules and that the world is going to change again or something like that. So I'm just like, all right. So if, if that's on the basis of this, what are the rules that become propped up in these new realities that are formed and stuff? Um, right now, I'm <laughs> honestly, I just don't have anything to really say about it. But um, overall, I did like the episode. I did feel lost a little bit within it. But uh, great animation, actually pretty good fight too, and actual actual good conclusion. Of course, Andy showing his, um, you know, instead of being a dickhead sometimes, it's my more passionate, uh, reasonable side the way that he is in doing this stuff. So gave her some sort of, you know, solace, some type of relief about uh, the whole situation. Even though she's dying, give her essentially what she wanted, which was me at the end of the day. So overall, I really didn't like this episode. Her ability is just crazy that it's just fixate. It's just fixing air, which is uh, if you guys have ever read Jojo's part seven, it's a little bit reminiscent of that, which is um, what is it over the rainbow or whatever? It's kind of reminiscent of that ability where but in that particular ability, the guy has to be like it has to rain, but it has the same sort of premise where in case he fixes raindrops around and stuff and he can make stuff out of them. But um, yeah, <laughs> she was kind of cool, even though she was trying to murder us. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> And our time ran out. Ah, uh, double meaning then. Wow, that was she was that eager. Oh my god. That's a lot to ask for, though. <laughs> it's so stupid how that's like the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as I can clap them cheeks, like, <laughs> like, all right, nigga. Well, it's gonna be broken up. You pull up to the scene. Ooh, there's only five, maybe more. Well, he's gonna attack them. <laughs> Fucking Shin. Basically, they have to reveal their abilities so they keep it hidden. <laughs> I mean, shit, he did attack them, right? Oh, you killed Gina. Mm, he got that get back. And they brought it back. <laughs> oh, she's controlling them to attack the other ones. I was wondering why he brought the sword to her. Dad, she put him in check real quick. 
<laughs> what the fuck? And it's called Apocalypse. Quest open. Hey, you know what? I think I was right. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I said they have to like complete task or whatever. Six quests. Wait, so if they complete that, they get an additional seat. They need five people to at least go. I mean, that unification of all world languages would solve so many problems. <laughs> like, goddamn. Of unseen, so that guy must turn invisible. Unrepair. So you're not able... Wait, is that going to be a counter to Andy? Because, I mean, unrepair just means you can't repair it, right? And his whole ability is based around repairing himself. What the fuck? So they get to add an 11th seat to it. So that you can only have 10? That's just a rule? Like, okay. Yeah, First artifact on Earth is called Apocalypse. <laughs> okay. Like some dude, is it some Genesis shit? Like... So if you fail, you get hit with a penalty. I don't think this is something that you can just say no to. <laughs> That's what it just it seems like. Yeah, but I don't think this is the type of area to have all the sentimentality to. It's like we kind of have to do this. That's what it seems like. Ninety-eight times. Wait, these are all rules that are put on the world. Wait, what the fuck? I didn't think it said race. <laughs> Language, like, alright. What? What is this like all one big game? Like, what the fuck? The god on the other side of the book is executed? This couldn't be a, um, a Job situation, could it? Okay. Oh, and then change it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So, spoil, I guess, makes things spoil or mold. Burn is, I guess, just burning. So he just jumped straight into it. <laughs> I mean, that's how he is, though. So I'm like, I'm wondering if this is a Job situation. They're talking about the God on the other side and everything, and they have these tasks to do. If they don't do it within, like, what I think she said, three months or something like that, then things get fucked up. But, like, Job in the story is basically God and the devil make a deal. Hey, look, I can turn your most devout uh, follower against you. And it becomes, like, a game between them two, if you will. Like, that's, like, the gist of it. So, I'm like, is this the same thing? Is there, like, two opposing forces? Like, whether it's humanity and this God or, like, there's, like, a devil and a, and a God or something like that. And then they're kind of, like, going back and forth here. But in the story of Job, God didn't really do anything. He just let one person just take reign. So it was like... You know what this also reminds me of? From. Uh, from the TV show. Because there's people who theorize. There, there's this game where there's like... A witch. 
this other guy and this other person they're playing a game with these people's lives and there's like there's certain rules to the game but that's what this reminds me of a lot and then like one side wants one to win and the other side wants the other to win and they're kind of doing these things like one is just kind of like more evil while the other side is just kind of wanting the game to kind of just continue like <laughs> Wow. This, this reminds me of the um the suits from uh Incredibles. How you can burn them and shoot them and all this other stuff, but they just basically remain intact. Garment? <laughs> what? This is taking the jacket jacket ability in one piece and just being <laughs> with fucky with it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, put it on. Whoa. That was fast. Yeah, she looks brawlic. What do you? <laughs> she doesn't seem like she's changed. Like, look how buff she is all of a sudden. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> so she's just gonna put the unlock on the garment? What? And that's how he gets his suit. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Bro. He came out flat, though. They do a lot at us uh, at first. I'm actually going to be clicking through this at the same time of kind of just talking about this. But um, from what I'm getting, they have to complete these tasks. This is something I said before when I was like kind of theorizing about stuff that maybe had to complete certain tasks to do certain things. But I didn't expect this to be kind of like, like in a way, like a game, it seems like. They have this like this book apocalypse that just gives them quests and stuff to do. They have to do all these quests. If they don't do it within, I think she said three months time or something like that. Then a new penalty. Was it a penalty or a rule or whatever? It gets, I, I think it's a penalty. It gets thrown up on whatever world that they have at this point in time and like all the basic stuffs about our lives like uh, that's probably why the stars aren't there they haven't had one that literally gives them stars <laughs> like that's what it just seems like there's probably one that hasn't given them a star yet so like she was saying there's race there's sex there's death like all these concepts essentially okay now this is a, a, a better picture right um there's the sun, the earth, and the moon. They're on two opposing sides. Yeah, this is probably a game. This might be essentially kind of like uh, Job or... I forgot what the game was called with From, but I think in From, there's three players within it. There's like this more of a devil figure. There's this witch. And then there's like this little boy or whatever. Like one tries to stall out the game. One tries to, you know, corrupt it or whatever. Another one tries to like win it, I guess. Is this the same case here? Where, like, well, I have to guess the sun and the moon are it. There's nothing else out here. Um, that there's, like, some sort of god, right? And then there's 
them and then they have to oppose this god at the same time it's just a little bit weird <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it, it just reminds me of kind of like job because job was just basically it, it's like satan came to god and said i can fuck over your most devout follower god was like bet <laughs> right and then you know satan was allowed to do whatever the fuck he wanted to uh and then god kind of comes in at the end and i, I kind of feels like the same way here and from it's that same sort of thing they play this game with people's lives so i'm assuming there's there's even more of a opposing god or gods within this and they're kind of just watching the show of these super powered people kind of handling these decisions and seeing how this goes so i i assume that this is just one big fucking game especially when they're saying things like quest and then what a quest usually in rpgs like you know in, in like mmos and shit so i mean that's what i guess that they're going through right now but they have to complete these tasks yeah once every three months new penalties are added without even without our uh intervention so wait so you just keep getting penalties no matter what Okay, so they intervene. Like this whole thing is here just to intervene between there being continuous penalties that hit the earth. So these things keep stacking up. I mean, the fact that you get rid of like death, like death at one point wasn't even a concept, which is kind of wild, right? Or even sickness, like they were saying. So they have to complete the quest and the quest uh, to accomplish this, we capture and utilize uh, those with power in order to complete the quest. By gaining these rewards, we will grow in strength so that someday the ones forcing these rules upon the earth, the creator, the God residing on the other side of the book is executed. So they're going against this God. Yeah, so it, it basically this God made a game. <laughs> I assume that there's at least another God or many gods in this and they're just kind of watching them suffer, if you will. Them going through this game, see if they can accomplish it. And it's just basically their own enjoyment. And to be quite honest, they have this frame while she's talking about this. There, It shows this frame of the sun, the moon and the earth. So the sun is probably a god, the moon is probably a god, and then the earth is humanity. Like, uh, and then if you really want to go like biblical, I guess you can say one is good, one is bad. Maybe the moon is the bad one, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's kind of up in the air. So it just made it a lot more complicated in the series before it was just, hey, we're going to jump into this. And Gina, of course, alluded to this last um episode when she was talking about there's going to be new rules that are going to be instated and stuff and we're getting to see that now with all these things like they're going to be having to capture these quests one was time one was uh burn so like i don't know because i feel like they're, they're adding in these rules like <laughs> i know i'm talking a lot about this right now but they're adding in these rules to this game of like death and sickness and all this other stuff. Wouldn't burn or like fire, wouldn't that be one? Wouldn't time be one because the days go by? So like, are they kind of like, because this is the thing. Are these things that are concepts because we see them talk about burn, right? We see them talk about time. Hell, we even see them talking about language. But there was like another one they were talking about. Uh, spoil. They talk about spoil. So I'm guessing spoil is like things molding. Uh, you know, things just being spoiled. They're going bad, right? So. <sighs> is it that these things that become rules. Like death. Like sickness. Like, uh, you know, say spoil. Or burn. Are these rules then thus become sentient and so they can capture these things and then uh, like lock them up like they were doing with, you know, the undead and everything like that? Is that what's kind of happening here? Like there's a lot of like concepts that are out there 
uh, that are just like concepts, if you will. It, it uh, I don't know. It reminds me of Chainsaw Man too, like how Chainsaw Man has just like a lot of just concepts that are out there, right? Like all these devils are concepts. At the end of the day, you know, you have the Blood Devil, you have the Bat, but then you have something like Darkness, for instance. So I'm guessing that the same thing happens here with all these rules, and that when these rules are created, I'm guessing Burn was one of them. Sickness was one of them. Spoil was one of them. They then just become concepts into the world, but then you can stop these concepts from happening if you capture these things. Like, I, I don't know. It, it just seems like getting more complex in a way that these things are kind of like functioning within this world. But either way, I am here for it. It seems rather interesting. We get introduced to this whole new cast of characters and stuff. Um, just gotta see what else is gonna happen here. Of course, Andy wants to go after the was which one's the hardest one to do and shit like that because that's just how he is. But it is what it is. Either way, this is Kevin. Like, comment, subscribe, and all the good shit. I am out.